welcome back it's great to be back with you you know with how well fsd has been performing on the highway coupled with the improvements i saw from my first drive on 1144 i thought i would try something a little different today and that's doing a long fsd drive in the evening i am going to be heading off to the airport right now just to pick up someone's so i thought it would be a good opportunity to give fsd a try I've never really done this before, um, also on the highway I have not done this before in the evening um, because I am generally a cautious FSD driver but again with what I've been seeing of late, uh, the excellent lane management on the highway, uh, it really being safer and more confident and more purposeful on the highway drives, I thought it would be a good time to see uh, how FSD would do at night. This drive is going to be about 30 kilometers. I'm going to speed up some of these portions here just to get through some of the monotonous parts. And we will see how FSD performs here in the evening. So we have our first hiccup here. For some reason, FSD is taking me into uh, the right turn lane here. Uh, the good thing is that it's course correcting and uh, getting me back on my original path. Um, I've never seen that before. Um, I don't know if this is an 1144 issue or if this is uh, driving in the evening, but um, something convinced it to get out of that lane and then it realized it was going down the wrong path. So what I will do is try to replicate that and see if that's an actual issue and then report that coming in. We're going to be getting onto the highway again. Again, this is a high construction zone right now so on 11.44 trying to see if there's going to be any regression here um, no it's moving forward confidently doing a good job let's see how smooth this right turn is does the turn very smoothly so there's something else i've noticed on 11.44 um, is that the turns are seem to be a lot smoother especially the left turns i find are a lot smoother there it's almost like comparing a, a new driver to someone who's been driving for five ten years you know you just lose a little bit of that herky jerky motion and it's just much more steady and i'm finding that the, the newest version of sd beta is like that as well um, let's see if how it manages this exit it always trips up here and doesn't get out of this lane in time and yeah so i'm gonna have to disengage here as well because i can tell that it's not moving over i would have no problem just keep letting it do its thing but as you can see there's a lot of traffic here and there's a lot of cars behind me and it is the evening so i am going to be a little bit more cautious i am re-engaged right now and uh, let's see how quickly uh, fsd will move over to the left lanes because i will have to be going down this highway for quite some time already done the first move over which has done a good job there as you can see there's a lot of cars here as so it's managing that traffic and those lane changes very well it's letting this car pass over here and now is moving over to the left lane i always like to see how fsd manages cars braking just when you're doing lane changes as well it does a good job with that i'm finding it's much more confident and human in this in this uh in this version um, on the left is an HOV lane, um, and I can go into that lane uh, because I drive an electric car here in Ontario. So FST is moving over to that right now. Um, let's see what happens moving up front. So I'm going to have to drive down this highway for about 10 kilometers, and then it's going to be getting onto a highway and going right. Let's see if FSC tries to move me out into the right lanes. It really shouldn't because this HOV lane actually has a dedicated ramp that goes west. I'm going south right now and I need to go right when I get to the next highway. If I stay in this lane here, um, it will take me directly to where I need to go. Um, I've noticed before that FSD doesn't notice that ramp there. So what it tries to do is when it can, it tries to move me into the right lane. So, so let's see if it goes and does that right now.
All right, we've got a dotted line right now. And as you can see, it's trying to move me over into right lane as expected. So I'm gonna, just gonna intervene right here. I suspect what will happen is after the next set of um, solid lines go dotted again, it's gonna try me again. And it's doing the right thing and that is trying to proactively move me into the right lane. So I'm not swerving over three, four lanes at the last minute. But again, because um, I've got this special HOV lane and the ramp and because I want to beat a lot of this traffic it can sometimes jam up there on the right I want to stay on this lane so let's see what happens yep there again is trying to move me over to the right so I will stop it from doing that I could put it into the right lane I just don't know if there's gonna be a lot of traffic head to jam me I don't want to be late for my pickup so I'm just gonna drive manually just for this last couple of kilometers as we get off and you will see this special ramp um, HOV ramp that I am referring to then once we get onto the next highway I will re-engage the FSD all right we're back quite a bit of traffic here quite a bit of traffic it's about 8 45 at night and or 8 30 at night and there's still quite a bit of traffic here in toronto uh, on the 401 uh, i am going to be paying attention here i'm not going to be going much above the speed limit as you can see there's lots of vehicles in front of me anyways so um, i really don't need to be going that fast i'm going to look at the, how it manages the lane management uh, right now as you see, we've got some tight lanes right there. Um, I did disengage. It was just very tight for one second there. Again, if it was probably the daytime, I would have just let it zip through. But uh, there were no issues if I just let it stay on there. This is just a comfort level for me. Uh, right now, though, it's doing, a, it's doing a good job. And let's see what lanes it stays in during this drive. All right, doing a good job there. Moving over to the left, I like that. Now we've got a truck in front of us. Let's see if we uh, catch up on that truck and have to move over to the left anymore. As you can see, I've activated the cameras on the car uh, just because it is darker and there's gonna be some lane changes here. I wanna be very confident with the traffic around me. So I wanna get those cameras in front. It's a fantastic feature that Tesla has there. I am uh, speeding up some of this footage right now just to make things go a little bit faster. As you can see, I'm moving again over one lane to the left. Fantastic job there. And as anticipated, it was doing that uh, well with enough lead time. Um, so I didn't have to inch up on that truck first before I would then try to go around it. So did a good job with that. FSD is staying in the left lane. It's doing a good job there. Now let's see if we get ahead of this truck, if it's going to get me into the express lanes or just uh, keep me there into the collector lanes. What I would like to see though is that it moves over back into the middle lane because I do not want to be slowing down any faster traffic that is behind me. Yeah, but so far the cars in front of me aren't going particularly fast as well so I'm okay staying here right now. Good job. Okay, just shifting up ahead here a little bit. Again, lots of trucks here on the road. Confidently moving ahead of that truck. Let's see, we've got some emergency vehicles over here. Nothing spooking FSD. This has been a very, very smooth ride here. Again, I really never would have contemplated doing FSD in, in the evening, but uh, this drive may change that actually. Again, there's a lot of traffic right now, but I need to feel confident. Um, even though I am paying attention to the road and I've got my hand near the wheel, uh, it's got to be uh, not a jarring experience uh, for me to do this versus just driving myself manually. See, we have a car there that's speeding quite a bit. No issues with that. Staying within this lane, doing a good job. Now it's moving over. I could sense that the car in front was going a little bit slower. Let's see if it makes any progress on that car. 
Good job. Good job. It is driving with a lot of moxie out here. I'd have to say that. Like, it is moving in the lanes left and right. And again, I've got this in average mode right now. And it's, uh, it's moving around quite a bit, but it's not doing anything unnatural. As you can see right now, it did a, a fantastic thing in that it, it moved over to the right and let those passing vehicles uh, get ahead of it. Now you can see there's passive vehicles on the left and on the right of me right now. Again, there's a lot of traffic. I am driving FSD at night for the first time, so I am not going to be going particularly fast here. I'm going to keep right around the speed limit and see how it manages all these vehicles around. But um, it's doing it with confidence. It's it's not being apprehensive, and that's something I noticed on the 1136 is that it was a little bit more apprehensive, a little bit jerky. It felt like a beginner driver out there. This one feels like, I wouldn't say it was an intermediate driver, but definitely has a bit more confidence behind it. So that's fantastic. My next video, I am going to be doing a little bit of regression testing just to see how things uh, have changed between 11.36 and 11.44. You can look for that video to come very soon. As you can see, we've got a lot of cars here that are moving in and out, left and right. Now, I'm in a left turn lane right now. Let's see if it takes me into the express lanes or keeps me in the collectors. Uh, just because I don't have my map in front of me, I'm not sure which one it should have taken, but it's taking me into the express lanes right now, which is fine. Uh, both of them will be connecting with the next highway, which will take me to the airport. No issues with that. Uh, right now, I am going to be probably inching up on a truck soon. So let's see if it just moves me over. And it does do that. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I'm going to have to be getting over into the right lane sooner than later, though, uh, to get onto the next highway. So let's see. Let's see when it does that. And actually, you can see that lane actually ended right there. So it was fantastic that it moved me ahead uh, so well in advance. Yep, now it's moving me over a lane, one more lane there. Now, I do have to get off this highway pretty soon. So I think I normally probably would have stayed in the right lane. So you see it moved me over one more lane as well. So it's really trying to get ahead of these vehicles. Like I said, in 11.44, it's just it's being very authoritative, right? And in this driving, see now it's moving me back into the right lane. So there's a certain level of confidence and aggression that I'm sensing from FSD, which is interesting. It's interesting to see how it, it actually tries to behave. You know, overall, it's doing a fantastic job. and really don't have many issues with it at all. You can see there's a lot of oncoming traffic here and now we're going to be getting off onto this ramp and it's you know it's doing this quite aggressively right now we've got a truck here that's moving over to the right fsd will probably just zip around it right now and again these these lanes are a little i wouldn't say the lanes are tight but there's a lot of traffic and it's you're not driving straight there's curving left and right and um, fsd's taking it all with much aplomb so it's doing a good job there I am paying a lot of attention right now because it's the first time I've done this in the evening and it's it's really going right now you can see it's aggressively passing these vehicles and again these these turns are getting a little bit tighter but FSD is uh, is doing its best Formula One impression right now yeah it was aggressively went out of that car and then immediately moved over a lane wow to be honest, if I was driving manually, I probably would have done the exact same thing. I'm not used to it sort of driving almost like me in my style, which was fantastic. So, you know, all in all, you know, I'm going to be getting to the end of this drive very soon. I would say this did a fantastic job on the highway. What I would notice is it was assertive. It was confident. The lane changes by far were uh, probably the most pronounced that I've seen. Uh, driving an FSD before and again I wasn't even in assertive mode I was in a just a normal normal average mode and it did a fantastic job so two thumbs up I'm gonna uh, do some more FSD drives uh, in the evening just to test it out I'm gonna try it on some roads um, now that I've tried, sort of ticked off the highway here and yeah thanks for uh, joining me today on this ride it was a lot of fun I learned a lot Feel free to give a like and subscribe if you like this type of content. We've got more drives coming soon. You drive safe now and I'll see you on the roads.